Cheers. Mmm. Okay. Wow, that sauce is bomb. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. Now, most of you know I've lost over 100 pounds by making healthier versions of some of my favorite foods. So today, I'm gonna show you another dump and bake. So this is literally dump everything into a casserole, bake it, and you're set. Like, it's so easy, so delicious, nutrient dense, and of course, low in carbs, okay? So this is a Cajun pasta. We are gonna be adding some protein. I'm gonna use chicken. You can, of course, use your protein of choice. So we're gonna be using a low sugar pasta. This is actually a spicy vodka, okay? I don't know if you've heard of Carbone. I've actually wanted to eat there. I've been trying to go to their Miami location every time I go, and I, of course, forget before I get there. So I never make it in, so we'll see. We'll see what the hype is all about because literally like it's months to get into there. Anyway, okay, moving on. So again, remember this is just dump everything, bake it, and then you're set. So we're gonna start off with our pasta. Now, typically when you're making pasta dishes, you wanna cook your pasta first, but the unique thing about this is that you literally toss in your raw pasta, okay? So this is literally just raw pasta going in and then we're gonna toss in our sauce. Essentially, it cooks in the pasta sauce, right? So that's kind of like the whole idea behind this. And then we're just gonna toss that in. And you're gonna use the whole, just the whole jar. We might actually need a little bit more water. Instead of using water, I'm just gonna use some bone broth to make it more like nutrient dense. And then of course, we're gonna make this baby creamy. And we're just gonna do a little and let me give it a mix so I can see how much water we actually need. So as you can see, it's actually, like I'm not mad at this. I don't feel like we need a ton of water, but remember when pasta cooks, it does absorb some of the water. So I'm just gonna add a little liquid. Let me see, we're gonna do like a third quarter cup. Just to get everything that was left in there. So this is kind of like what we want it to look like, where it's nice and juicy, but not too much and not too little, right? Cause like, we don't really want like a super dry pasta either. Okay, and now I'm just gonna add in our protein. So I'm using chicken, it's what I have on hand. You can use Italian sausage, you can use ground beef, you can use literally whatever protein you have or even without it will work. But I'm like, let's go ahead and add in some chicken because that's what I have and I'm kind of like, I go through my fridge, I see what I have in there, and then like, let's toss it in, you know? I don't like to let things go to waste. So we have our chicken, and then we're gonna add in veggies, so it's gonna look nice and colorful. We have both the red and the yellow. A Little bit of red onion. And then we have some spinach. Spinach always makes me feel like the dish is healthier just because it has spinach. You know? <laughs> I feel like it just gives it that like healthy vibe. And then this little guy here, I actually found it at Costco. It's like toasted garlic in olive oil and it really adds taste. So I really, um, I like to add it to a lot of my, to a lot of dishes, even when I'm just cooking like um, stove top, just kind of add it like right on top. Yeah, it's like super, super concentrated. Okay, and then, of course, this is more like Cajun style. You can do whichever seasonings you want. Um, I have some Cajun seasoning, so that's just what I was thinking. I felt like it just kind of went well with the chicken and, you know, the sauce. So I'm gonna do a little Cajun, and then just a little pinch of salt and pepper. But, you know, look at how easy this is. Like, literally just dump everything in. I mean, of course, I wanted to add extra veggies just to give it more fiber and just to add um, more to it but you can literally make it as simple as the sauce and the pasta and a protein if you want, and then we'll top it with cheese and you will see how this turns out. But look at this. Start getting everything mixed in there. Look at how great this looks. Like, and this is definitely like one of those dishes like you have someone coming over, oh my gosh, I don't have anything made. I wanna have food on the table. These dump and bakes are super, super easy to make. Okay, so I did end up adding a little bit more bone broth just because you want it to be juicy enough so that the pasta can cook. 
yeah, you don't want to end up with like a dry, crunchy pasta. This is really just supposed to be, think of like lasagna, think of like a casserole that has pasta in it. Like that is what we're going for. And then of course, can you really have pasta without cheese? Like, can we? No. So we're just gonna top it to finish it off. Just wait, wait until this comes out. This is, it's gonna like blow your mind how simple this is. And remember, I added a few extra things. Could literally just do the pasta and the sauce and top it with cheese. It is like crowd pleaser. And my oven is preheated to 400 degrees. So this is gonna go in for about 30 minutes. It really just depends on the pasta that you're using. Some might take about 45 minutes. It just really depends. If you're using like a high protein, low carb pasta, they, those, they do cook um, faster. So we'll put this in for 30 minutes. I'll show you what this one looks like, but I am telling you, you are going to be mind blown. All right guys, so I just got my refill. This is for my probiotic and prebiotic. This is the DS1 by Seed. I'm gonna refill my little container right now, but in case you don't have a great prebiotic that you love and trust, I've been using Seed for over three years now. Literally take it every single day. I wouldn't go a day without it. This is actually a two in one. So this is a capsule within a capsule. It actually makes it all the way down into your colon. It feeds all the gut bacteria that needs to be fed down there. Before I started taking seed, I was having so many issues with my gut. I was getting bloated after I ate, like really, really bloated. I was not regular. My digestion was just like completely off. Um, I was having other issues where my hair was falling out, skin issues, like the whole shebang. And even though you might think like, oh, my hair is falling out, so maybe it's something like with my scalp and don't get me wrong, it could be. But most times it all stems from your gut because 70% of our immune system lives in our gut. So if you are having any issues like that, of course your food plays a huge, huge, huge role, but a high quality probiotic and prebiotic also is super, super crucial and important for your gut and gut health journey. It really just depends on where you're at. So again, if you don't have a high quality probiotic, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description below. You can use my discount code, which is LCL25. It'll get you 25% off your entire order. So I'm gonna take mine now since I just got it. Cheers. And that is it. So our casserole is almost out. I can't wait to show you. It's already getting nice and cheesy. And then what I'm gonna do, once the pasta is like al dente, I'm gonna go ahead and broil it and just get that nice little crisp on top. Woo! All right, look at this. This was literally about 30 minutes, dumped everything in and out comes beautiful gourmet pasta. This is literally like the best invention. Dump and bakes, I don't even know if it's a thing, but I'm gonna make it a thing and literally dump everything in and bake it and voila, look at that. Okay, so wait until you see the inside. Now I'm gonna take a quick photo and then I will dig right into this. Okay, so I already took a beautiful photo, but look at this, nice and cheesy. So if you don't, if you want it to be more like lasagna style, just do a little less broth but mm, this to me is the perfect consistency. I feel like it is not too dry, not too thick. So let's go in for a bomb taste. A little bit of everything. Cheers. Mmm, okay. Wow, that sauce is bomb. Mm. Wow. I'm telling you, these dumping bakes, are so fire, so easy, 10 out of 10, the flavor. It's like party in your mouth. I don't know, there's nothing that I would change about this, nothing. Just to make it easier, you could like omit the veggies. I'd still, I'd still say throw in some sausage or some ground beef. I threw in chicken and it's so bomb. So like any protein will work. But if not, like I used the protein pasta, you know, like the pasta already has protein. I did the bone broth, which also adds in, um, it's 17 grams of protein per the little container. I used probably about half of that. You know, you still get that protein here, protein there, but if you add in that meat, then you're just having like a super, super protein dense meal. So anyway, 
you're gonna try it for yourself. Let me know, come back, comment down below. Um, obviously this is super easy. I'll still leave a recipe in the description below for you. Um, it goes to my blog. I have all my recipes there, so go check them out. I also have eBooks that have like my most popular recipes. Um, I have lost about 25 pounds in the last six months. I did finally put an ebook together that goes detail step-by-step step on what I did and like if you don't know how to start. So anyway, I have those ebooks. I'll leave them linked in the description below. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget, go hit that little bell notification so that you're reminded every time I post a video just like this one. Share my channel, share my recipes with friends, family that are either just living a low carb lifestyle that are diabetic or really just trying to make like healthier meals for their family. You know what I mean? But thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.